Hello, in this video I am going to felt Moogle from the Final Fantasy series. It will be its Final Fantasy IX design thanks to the request I've received. Here is a list of wolves you need to prepare before you start felting. White, Black, Red, Yellow, and Purple. Of course, you will have to use mostly white so prepare a lot of that color. As always I started by making the head. When I had a round and quite stiff ball I've added more white wool to the side where the jaw and cheeks will be. Build it up until you get a nice profile and round cheeks when you will look on the face from sides. I helped myself with official design sketches as you see. And this is a tip I recommend. Always look a lot at reference materials. When you are happy with the shape of Moogle's head you can add a nose. Felt oval like shape and add it to rest. By having a nose it will be easier to add eyes. I know I said often I only use big needles since they are less breakable and I stay by this, but sometimes you might find a moment when using a smaller needle is helpful too. For example, I used a big needle first to push black wool into the head first, then I used a smaller needle to smooth the lines shape and push inside spare threads without messing the shape more or pushing it too deep. I found using a smaller needle for small shapes where you have to add a layer of different wool colors is a good idea. With a smaller needle, there is less chance to break color on the other side. But it will take a lot more time and usually, wool's threads don't felt so fast and firm as with a big needle. And of course, bending and scratching with a small needle is a bad idea, connecting stuff of course too. For that use biggest needle you have. I've made a surprise mouth for my Moogle but you can make it smile or sad or anything you think of. The next step was to make the ears. I felt it small triangle like shapes and felted them on the head. When I had them in the place I used purple wool and a smaller needle for the details and if that was necessary I added a little more white wool to the back of the ear. Now it was time to make this fur like shape to the cheeks. I made 4 slim ovals from white wool and added them to the sides of the face. Then when it was done I've made whiskers in the same way I've made eyes. All charm lays in felting stuff in the right position and shape. When I was making the right side of the whiskers I made them start a lot closer to the nose. It wasn't a problem. I've just taken a piece of white wool and I've covered up where the whisker shouldn't be. So, Moogle's antenna. This is the part that gave them the most trouble in making this whole figure. I felted and felted that black part but it was still bending, and my Moogle isn't that small, it ended around 15 centimeters, but it was still annoying and didn't want to felt well. I've added layers of black wool and when I tried to connect it with the head it was bending more. So I tried a few times until it hold up more or less. Maybe if I made pom pom smaller it would hold better, but I didn't want that. And I didn't want to add any metal inside. Only wool for my Moogle.
The face is done, now it's time to make a torso. Make a tear like shape for it and that's almost it. The design I was making from the torso was a little smaller than the head. When I was done with it I moved on to make legs and arms. So for this figure, I had two ideas. One to make it stand and create a book that will stand beside Moogle and help it stand up. The second was to make a figure when he leans on the open book and writes in it. If you get to this point you can choose either, you will just need to felt a bigger, open book, feather pen, and place one of his arms over the book with a pen. I've decided to do the first option as you see, maybe one day I will do the second too. So, I've connected the legs first. And after that I've made those details on stomach. I've created them in the same way as those fur on the cheeks were. Next, I felted arms but I didn't connect them yet. This is a part where having spare big needles come in handy. I used three of them, two to find the right position for arms and one to see how everything will look with the head. And I've left arms this way for now and focused on making the book. First I made the inside of the book from white wool. You can use always a different color, like cream and with it, the book will look older. Then I've moved to create a red patch from red wool. This will be a cover for the book. Make it a little bigger than the inside of the book. It can be a little more thick. I've made one side of the cover first, connected it, then made the other side and felt it all together. When I had a cover complete, I've started to add some details with yellow wool. So, the book was done so it was a time to connect all pieces you felt so far together. You can try with the spare big needle if the torso and book will stand well, if yes, connect them. After that, you can connect the arms and the head. The last piece you have to make is Moogle swings. As you see I first felt it a bone part. When it was ready I've made small patches to fill up gaps between those bones. The tip for this part is to add patches only to the one side of the wing so this way you get a more 3D look from one side, I've put my 3D side to the front. And while you will be making a second wing, don't forget to flip everything so you wouldn't end with both left or both right wings. And here your Moogle is done. I hope you liked this video. I made a channel of nerdy felting on Facebook. And I'm going to post there some photos of works in progress there. Still, the most important for me now and the biggest help to make this channel grow on YouTube is the number of subscriptions here. So if you can do that, I will be very grateful. Anyway, see you in next video.